they're really, uh, they have their own personalities. Uh, when Staten Kirkland came in, it was, it's kind of like he comes into the office in my mind and he sits down and he says, let me tell you a story. And he has his own personality and when I meet him, I don't know his secrets and I have to learn them. But I based him on several men that I know that are ranchers and uh, the way they feel about their land. Um, people seem to think in other parts of the country that ranchers think of the land as, the, as they're the owner, they're the lord of the land, and that's not how they look at it at all. They see it as they're the caretaker. And even though the ranch has been in their family 150 years, they still see themselves as the caretaker of the land. It's, it's not difficult to write uh, because I see my people very clearly, and it's kind of like people don't get different TV shows mixed up. I don't get the stories of my characters mixed up. But I always do something several times during the book. I will start at the beginning and only read one story. And so that it making sure that it follows exactly like it should. So I, I always, um, even though there's more than one story, and I'll put them to, when I put them together, I don't always put them together one chapter at a time. I sometimes jump around. One thing I did that really helped it be a lot easier in Ransom Canyon is we have a little house out back of our, we have a mission home and we have a house out back and it's just a, just a little apartment. And I went in and stripped everything off the walls and put up whiteboards and uh, all the pictures I could find of the canyon. And I began for four months before I even started writing I wrote the family histories of each family and how old they were and when they were born and everything. And those wow. are on the walls. And then as the stories came, the whiteboards filled up with their plot and the plot movements. So now when I walk in that space in the back of my, in the little room, I walk into Ransom Canyon in my head. There were several stories that I wanted to really play with of how sometimes one event in your life that you may not think of as the most important thing actually affects the way you live the rest of your life.